Taub here, co-creator of nextlevelguitar.com. So in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you some arpeggios, but some best practices and some pro tips on the use of arpeggios to really make your solos come alive. All an arpeggio is, is just the notes of a chord played separately. So you're just playing those hip and cool chord tones, the notes that make up those chords. Instead of playing the chord all at once, you're playing those notes separately. So it spreads the notes out a bit, as well as, you know, those chords that you're playing over, you might be playing the corresponding arpeggios, um, so it really uh, accents and highlights and emphasizes those strong chord tones so you make big solo statements. I was using a bunch of different arpeggios in the jam that you heard me play in the intro to this video. And by the way, that jam track uh, I was playing over is in the key of E minor, and I want to thank Elevated Jam Tracks. I picked that track up from them. If you're interested in that track or more tracks from Elevated Jam Tracks, they make really killer sonic tracks. This jam track we're playing over, key of E minor, they're basically just power chords, E minor, G, D, uh, back to E minor, and then that goes to an A, G, F, back to E minor, right? And then there's um, some other chords later on in the jam. I'll list all the chords out here. Always know the chords you're playing over. It's the chords that are going to give you the complete roadmap to all of the soloing and improvisation avenues. Good arpeggio playing, you're just not going to play the arpeggios kind of up and back, up and back, up and back. That's not music, right? That That's like, you don't really play a scale all the way down and all the way back up and all the way down and all the way up, right? That's not music. Those are the building blocks. You have to work it, right? Good arpeggio playing mixes arpeggios in with your scales, in with your licks, and that's what this lesson is all about, and that's how you're going to really make these arpeggios come alive. You have to work them. You have to add them into your bends, to your guitar techniques that you've been working on. Add them into your slides and use hammer-ons. Add them into your scalar notes. You might have heard me play a lick in that uh, intro jam, something like this. <laughs> All right, so what I was doing, I was moving some arpeggios around, but oftentimes I'll just play a piece of an arpeggio and I'll use certain accents, right? So, all right, so here's the arpeggio I was playing. And that's a basic E minor arpeggio. And that's um, just root third, root flat third and fifth. But I was playing the arpeggio, just a fragment of them. I was doing a pull off and that's a, uh, 19 pulled off to 15 and I was just backing down the arpeggio but then I was accenting on that B note here because that's the fifth right in the in the key of E minor so it's a strong tone within that arpeggio too and the way I'm playing that with the accents and then I would slide down Now I'm accenting off of the D note, the flat seven, but I'm playing a different arpeggio fragment. I'm playing same kind of thing where I'm pulling off, this time I'm pulling off 10 to seven and backing down this arpeggio. Right now that arpeggio is a minor seventh arpeggio, root, flat third, fifth, flat seven. That arpeggio looks like this if I play the whole thing. And I broke that one down. All right, and again, I'm just kind of accenting. Killing the notes, right? Break them into pieces. And you get those strong tones. You know where your root notes are? We have our E note here. This arpeggio here, that's our minor uh, triad, or just a minor uh, root. There's our E, our flat third, and our fifth, our, our G, and our B. But then what I could do... So you see how I'm attaching that to licks. I play the minor triad, add the minor, uh, the flat seven too, right? Even sweep it. Then... I start sliding up into the next shape, the natural minor scale, and I'm working the arpeggio. I'm doing slides, pull-offs, bends, 
vibrato. That's how you make these arpeggios come alive. And if you want to see some of these scales and arpeggios diagrammed out on paper, because sometimes it helps to see it on paper in front of you and print it out, and this way when you're practicing it, you have that visual connection, I can help you with that. Um, click on the link in the YouTube description box below. I'll send you my largest rock blues soloing ebook. It's killer. I have like 29 scales diagrammed out, and it, plus it's packed with lessons on music theory and soloing strategies, major, minor, key. It's an awesome resource that I think you'll find useful throughout your guitar journey. I'll also pair it with a free video lesson on some other easy ways to really spice up your soloing. I'll send them both to you for free. You get the video lesson and the ebook. Just click on that link below. It's always nice to know, and I say this a lot, to know the scale that the arpeggio lives in. This minor seventh arpeggio lives in this natural minor scale, E natural minor or E aeolian. It looks like this. <laughs> Arpeggio lives right inside. So I could take any of those, any of those notes and licks and attach them to the arpeggio. I just took this lick, where I'm bending at half step, the root note, and I played the arpeggio, just the top couple strings, into the bend lick, and then I'll slide. So you get the flavor of the arpeggio, the note of the chord, E minor 7, played separately. You get the beautiful bend, hammer, pull, slide, and all these techniques. Now when I took that arpeggio, or that triad, into this other shape, I'm just playing E natural minor, but this is off of the low E string root, this shape. So you want to know where your arpeggios are, but know where they live, right? And I was just doing like a little pull-off lick. Do our half-step bends, that whole thing. Right, speed it up. Resolve back to E because I want to accent that E note. If you could do me a huge favor, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel that really helps us to keep the content coming, right? And also, this way you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. Leave a comment below. Let me know how you like this lesson. Let me know what lessons you'd like to see coming up in the future. And if you like the video, please click the like button. Give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for your support. Another arpeggio I like that kind of lives within this shape is this minor seventh off of this E note. 12th fret low E string. That arpeggio looks like this, a minor 7th again. So what can we do with that? Well, if we take that up to the high E string, right, we get that kind of thing. But what if we just take the top three strings and play it? That's kind of cool. What I'm doing there is I'm adding um, kind of a blues lick. Uh, so you could blues up your arpeggios. So what I'm doing is I'm going down the arpeggio descending. Then I play the blues lick. There's our blue note. So you get that bluesy flavor and you get this flat third to major third bend here on the 12th fret of the G string. So you get the arpeggio up top flavor, blue scale, to our root note. And that's a cool, easy way that you could take a fragment of an arpeggio, attach it, and blues up your arpeggio. Let's take another blues lick, maybe add some other passing tones to it. Let's take that lick. And let's add it into our arpeggio, baby. Throw in a little half-step slide, too. And you get a really interesting sounding lick. Because it adds, that's a lot of elements. We got passing tones, we got our minor seventh arpeggio, we got our blue note, and then we have, there's our major third. There's our blue note again. Here's another passing tone. We're using that A flat. 
not in the scale, and that's based off of our blues scale. Blues scale. Adding that minor seven. Arpeggio. Depending on the chords, because a lot of this is depending on what chord you're playing over, like when we're going from that E minor, or E power chord, and then there's a B power chord in there, you can take what you're doing, a lot of this is movable. Like that minor triad, I'm playing an E off this E root. If I move that to a B note, the root, that's my B minor triad. So I could play that same lick, but do it this time, I'm doing it in the key of B minor, and then when it goes to the E chord, get to slide it up back, slide it back up there. So see, I'm playing the arpeggio, then I'm using my slide, getting into the next position, using my E minor triad, E minor arpeggio, and going with a slide. Now I'm playing over each chord, and it's going to sound really sophisticated and interesting. But again, it's the same thing I was doing here. E natural minor, just moving it to B natural minor. Using B minor arpeggio, B minor triad. You can even use that B minor seventh over the B chord, B minor chord. And I moved it to E. Over the E chord, so now, not only are we using our arpeggio technique and really working the notes, but now we're working it over each chord independently, treating each chord as a separate event. Another tool in the toolbox, right? So a good thing to do is put the jam track on and just kind of get lost in it and listen on how these arpeggios sound over each corresponding chord, and then just get creative with it and add your bends. Then rip through an arpeggio. More bends, vibrato landing on your strong tones, get back to your root notes, a lot of accents on your E's, and now you're putting together some solos that make sense and that are really working your notes and making music with them. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope it helps you in your studies of arpeggios and adding them into your soloing. They really make a huge difference. And uh, have fun with it, put your own spin on it, stay creative. Remember, subscribe to the channel because that really helps us to keep bringing the content and then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. Don't forget too to click on that link in the YouTube description box below, get my free video lesson and ebook, right? And that ebook is packed with scale diagrams and arpeggios and soloing strategies, video lesson on um, easy ways to spice up your soloing. Send them both to you for free. Just click on that link below. Thanks so much for checking out this lesson and for your support over the years. So appreciated. Lots more to come. Stay tuned. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. Keep having fun with them. And remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, rock on. Mm -hmm.